Hello students, in this video we will be discussing important question of reasoning. Question number 1, 11 is to 22, what is 13 is to? Now this type of question are called number analogy in which we have to find the relation between 11 and 22 and with the same relation we will be finding between 13 and this missing number and we have to calculate this missing number. Now 11 is to 22. Now if we multiply 11 by 2, we get 22. In the similar way, if we multiply 13 by 2, we get 26. But 26 is not in the option. So we will try another way. 11 if we do the sum of digit that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 and now if we multiply 11 by 2 we get 22 in the similar way with 13 the sum of digit 1 plus 3 is 4 now 13 into 4 is 52 so option B is the correct answer Question number 2, 18 is to 9, what is 12 is to? Now if we half 18, half of 18 is 9. In the similar way, if we half of 12 is 6, but 6 is not in the option, so this logic will not work. Now let us try another way. 18 square is 324 and now if we do the sum of digit that is 3 plus 2 plus 4 we get 9 so let us apply the same logic with 12 12 square is 144 now if we add the digit 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9 so option A9 is the correct answer. Now question number 3. 5 is to 10. What is 16 is to? Now if we multiply 5 by 2. We get 10. In the similar way if we multiply 16 by 2. We get 32. But 32 is not in the option. So we will try another way. Now 5 square is 25 and now if we do the product of digit that is 2 into 5 we get 10. In the similar way we will try with 16. 16 square is 256 and now if we find the product of digit, digit 2 into 5 into 6 we get 60. So option A 60 will be the Correct answer. Now question number 4. 24 is to 48. What is 28 is to? Now if we multiply 24 by 2. We get 48. In the similar way if we multiply 28 by 2. We get 56. But 56 is not in the option. So we will try another way. 24. If we find the difference between the digit, that is 4 minus 2. If we do 4 minus 2, we get a 2. And now if we multiply 24 by 2, we get 48. If we take 28, if we find the difference between the digit, that is 8 minus 2 is 6. And if we multiply 28 by 6, we get 168. So option A, 168 will be the correct. Question number 5, find the missing number 42, 29, 7, 5 and we have to find this missing number. Now in these type of questions, we have to find the relation clockwise, anti-clockwise or diagonal wise. 
now if we see opposite to 5 is 20 now if 5 square we know that is 25 if we subtract 5 we get a 20 similarly opposite to 7 is 42 7 square is 49 if we subtract a 7 from it we get a 42 so now we apply the same logic on 9 to get this missing number 9 square is 81 and now if we subtract 9 we get 72 so 72 is the correct answer we can apply another logic also 5 into if we subtract 1 from 5 we get 4 5 into 4 is 20 in the similar way 7 into 6 is 42 so 9 into 8 will be 72 you can apply any of the logic now question number 6 find the missing number 3 8 15 26 and we have to find this missing number now let us find the difference between the terms 8 minus 3 is 5 15 minus 8 is 7 26 minus 15 is 11 now we notice that 5 7 11 are the prime number so the next prime number the next difference will be prime number next to 11 is 13 so the missing number will be 26 plus 13 that is 39 so option a is the correct answer now question number 7 find the missing number 20 10 10 15 30 75 and we have to find the missing number now if we notice that if we multiply 20 by half we get a 10 and now we multiply 10 by 1 that is twice of half we get 10 similarly we multiply 10 by 1.5 we get 15 and we multiply 15 by 2 we get 30 and if we multiply 30 by 2.5 we get 75 so that's with the notice the first term was multiplied by half then by 1 1 then by 1 by 1.5 then by 2 then 2.5 that is it is increment by 0.5 so the next term will be into 3 now 75 into 3 is 225 so option d is the correct answer question number 8 find the missing number 3 5 9 and this is the missing number now in this type of question we have to find the logic clockwise anti-clockwise or diagonal wise now if we notice opposite to 3 is 9 if we multiply 3 by 3 we get a 9 in the similar way if we multiply 5 by 3 we get 15 but 15 is not in the option so let us try another way 3 cube is 27 and now if we find the sum of digit 2 plus 7 is 9 similar way we will try with 5 5 cube is 125 now if we find the sum of digit 1 plus 2 plus 5 is 8 so option c 8 will be the correct answer now question number 9 5 is to 10 what is 16 is to if we multiply 5 by 2 we get 10 in the similar way if we multiply 16 by 2 we get 32 but 32 is not in the option so we'll try another way 5 square is a 25 and now if we find the product of digit that is 2 into 5 is 10 in the similar way 16 square is 256 and if we find the product of digit we get 60 so option b 60 is the correct answer question number 10 
6 is to 18, what is 14 is to? Now if we multiply 6 by 3, we get 18. In the similar way, if we multiply 14 by 3, we get 42. But 42 is not in the option. Now if we notice, if we multiply, if we write 6 as 3 plus 3, and now if we multiply 6 by this 3, we get 18. In the similar way, 14 can be written as 7 plus 7. Now if we multiply 14 by 7, we get 98. So option C, 98 will be the correct answer. Another way is, if we multiply 6 by 6, we get 36 and now if we divide by 2 we get 18. In the similar way 14 into 14 is 196 and if we divide it by 2 we get 98. I hope you find this video useful. Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.